Okay, we're here at Still Lake Hondo, and um, even though there have been a lot of foreclosures here, and there are a lot of short sales, and, the, and a lot of people have, uh, the prices now are in some cases a half or a third mm -hmm. what the original prices were, um, some people are saying that, you know, the bright side of that is that people that want to live in the downtown can actually now get a condo for less than 100000 is that right? Yes, one once um, in the past three months we're closing between 68 and well the lowest one was which was a foreclosure was 66,000. Wow. And I think the highest one was like 73. It's between those numbers, but right now the prices are starting to increase again. Really? So and they started at uh, from what I saw. 200, 300,000 were the original sales prices, yes. like in 2006 when the building, I guess, opened. Yeah, 2006, 2007. And then, you know, I, this seems to be the building that got caught in the bust. I mean, it was mm -hmm. maybe one of the last open. It, it's actually, the sales in here right now are the cheapest ones in, in downtown. Really? In the whole area. And especially for a brand new place. Mm -hmm. um, but it's, it, again, it's cash on. So... You know, not everyone can afford it. Most of the people buying here are investors. And they're going to buy it to maybe hold, wait out the market and sell it later? Or is yeah, they're, they're, they're renting? getting them renting, or they rent them out. Um, but what's it like to live here? I mean, is it pretty, you know, it was described as a ghost town by somebody. Um, I mean, you, you see people walking in and out. It's not exactly a ghost town, but there are, are a lot of places that are vacant. You see, if you walk by a hall, you'll see a lot of lock boxes, and, really? you know, which means that they're vacant. And what's the deal with all the foreclosures? I mean, as soon as they come in the market, they get hold. Yeah. And right now, as I told you before, the one we um, have our client buy, there were multiple offers. I'm not sure how many, but he ended up getting for more, like, Twelve thousand dollars, twelve, thirteen thousand dollars more than what the asking price really? is, because more people are are hearing about this building and they, they they know it's cheap. What kind of people are buying here? Do they actually work downtown? Um, no, not really. It's it's just investors. Really, some of them are investors. There's a couple of people that have bought here that you know they have you know extra money and they've been able to buy them. Wow. Yeah. So it's not uh, up to I guess it's not really a healthy building yet until it's um, filled with people that yeah, actually exactly want to live that, here and and that are paying everything on time. Yeah. Um, and so the there's still a problem with people not paying their maintenance fees. And um, I know well most of the units are under contract. Since there's so short sales, it takes you know a long time to close between you know 46 months or sometimes more than that. So. As that time passes by, the maintenance dues are not being paid until they close on it um, and the new owner starts paying it. And are people that do live here, what are they saying about the experience living downtown? I mean, they, they like it. It's close to everything. You're close to Las Olas. You're close to downtown. I mean, you're blocks away from everything. So it's it's pretty, you know, it's affordable and it's close to whatever you want. You know, you have everything here. Right.